Hi there, and welcome back to the All Animal Porn channel. I'm your host, B.R. Brainerd. Well, YouTube has finally updated their policy to coincide with the lifting of the press embargo, which means that we can both look forward to a regular release schedule for this series. Let's get back to it. What? Who told you to find me? He didn't give me a name, so I'm going with Albus Dumbledore. The prophet. He spoke to you? What did he say? I am destiny, the beginning and end and all that. I think fame is starting to get to his head a little bit, just between you and me. Ha. That sounds like the prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. Are you telling me People Magazine has reporters down here, too? I guess I'm not surprised. Huh. Pity I have no choice but to tell the nice lady I hear voices in my head. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Yeah, I for one am surprised I haven't come across any ribbed for her pleasure dick demons yet. I guess they're all upstairs sticking it to Japanese schoolgirls, right? I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. No? You've not seen the same documentary footage? He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. The past, the future. If he told you to find me, he must have had a very good reason. Down here, Dumbledore is known as the Cock Whisperer. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. Yeah, I know, I know. Although it does make me wonder what I did in life to deserve going here. Murder? Is that even a crime in Tamriel? Because if it is, we're all going to prison. Mm, I'm betting- I'm putting my money on tax evasion. Because seriously, who would pay their taxes in a world with teleport spells? Hello. Um, hi. Don't shank me, bro. The Ashen Mines are dangerous, but they aren't as heavily patrolled as the other routes out of the prison. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Ooh, hey, let me show you some of my superpowers. Nee, 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 nee. That crate? Empty. Just by staring at it. Haha. -ha. I am the least useful of the X-Men. Oh no, he stabbed them! They're dead! Again! You'll maybe pay for that. Hey, he's looking pretty svelte. You know, you could have been a supermodel if you dropped a few more pounds. No, yeah, my powers are useless on open containers. <laughs> it's, I got a very specific gene mutation. There is Titanborn is a mighty and noble warrior. Trust in her. All right, all right, jeez, guy. Courage, vestige. Confidence is a beast that brings two heads. Each that is cut off. Good grief, man! Get off the spirit Facebook. Stop stalking me. Guy's like an overbearing mom. <laughs> I think the devs don't expect us to know about sneaking yet. It looks like the mobs are just scripted to run towards a waypoint, which is usually right where I'm trying to sneak. Yeah, look, here he comes. Oh, geez, Lyris, get out the way. I don't know many people who would volunteer to stand in front of all this. Yes, that is what she said. Oh hell. I might as well keep my weapons drawn, right? Do not lose heart, vestige. You are close. Well, I guess it was about time for another status update from the Prophet. I guess a man just longs for company after too many decades spent in prison. I'd ask him why he isn't chatting up Lyris or any of the other soul shriven. Come. The Sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. Sorry, but what the fuck are we doing? Magical constructs created by Molag Ball to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. And the only question that we can ask is, how can we destroy it? Well, this being an RPG, I'm guessing the solution is to ax it a question. All right, I'll bite. How do we destroy it? I have no idea. Oh, well, this is a great plan. We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Ball left the Sentinels unguarded. Yeah, okay. Yes, I see you there, Batman. 
God, it's like playing hide-and-seek with a five-year-old. Just get in the car and drive away while their little eyes are closed. That's what I do. You mean to tell me that Moleg Ball signed off on a security system whose one weakness is that you walk up and blithely kill just one of the Sentinels? Well, this is gonna be easier than I thought. Hey look, a bald guy. Some might think that he's a cancer patient, but I know that he's a Sith Lord. I know. <sighs> oh man, Fat Kitty cannot take these stairs. <sighs> Alright. I guess this guy is all that's left after the endless conga line of players tore through. Hey, stop gurgling at me. You're supposed to be dead. Make that double dead. Alright, Sauron. This one's for Curly. Oh, oh man, I'm drenched. The whole thing was like one big water balloon. While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. I am an unhappy wet kitty. Thanks for helping. So yeah, all these players have a copy of Lyris with them, but their copies are invisible. That's nice. But yeah, that's a good change, because otherwise- Get out, get out! Ugh. That's a good change. Because otherwise this place would be like trying to move through a crowd at Disney World. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys that I once befriended a group of total strangers at Disneyland who were extremely, like, pathologically religious? because their grandfather was in a wheelchair so I could get to the front of the line at Space Mountain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like 12 years old at the time. Who says that old people are useless? Out! Lyris, you dumb slut. Another soul shriven. It's amazing that all the bad guys down here are perfectly suited for my level. Shouldn't there be Dramora, Kako demons? Hello. Yes, gone are the days where rogues were confined to daggers. You pick up a nice axe, like this one, and you can just equip it and keep going. It's gonna make rolling for loot fun later on when healers and tanks and melee DPS roll need on fire staffs. Alright, this way, class. Man, it's gonna be hard for me to justify being this fat when all I do is take stairs and kill monsters. Say what? The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Criminy, it's almost like we don't know what we're doing. Talk to me. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cad who? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Living in a van down by the river. Alright. Let's go talk to the craziest inmate in the asylum. It's not like we have much of a choice. <laughs> there he is. I love this guy. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. I'll take two British stereotypes to go, please. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you, then? Man, I'm telling you, if Stone Cold Crazy Bard was a class option, I'd pick it. Immediately. Anyways, yeah, the door upstairs is sealed. Oh dear, oh dear, well that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Traps? What does hell need with traps? Okay, so how do we get through all of that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step. Hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Give me a waypoint. I, I mean, where's the entrance? Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Fat Kitty is not a friend of rivers. I'm not even dry from the eye of Sauron yet. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? You know, something tells me the Prophet and Cadwell would really hit it off. Lots of talking and howling at the moon. 
Anyways, I want to know all about you, Sir Cadwell. Tell me, are you single? Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Oh, a knight! Nobility, fair maidens. Back in my previous life, I worked for Walmart. Not as a cashier, I was the guy that they called in to mop up after a pregnant lady unexpectedly shat herself in consumer electronics. So, um, how long have you been here? Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go feral, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. My biggest regret is that I never get the opportunity to break this guy out. You do get to travel to Sheogorath's realm later, though. So anyways, how do you know Lyris? Ah, Lyris. Girls as mad as Sheogorath's jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. It's beyond me, too, it's gotta be said. What do you think about the Prophet? An imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. So you don't think there's a way back home? I haven't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? <laughs> the guy wears a crockpot on his head and sucks at playing the loot, but he doesn't care. Cadwell does not suffer from insanity. He's loving every minute of it.